Hey guys, welcome to Those Junkies Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today what we're going to be discussing is how to introduce a new dog into your family, especially when you already have animals. Really quick, before we get into the video, I know it's been a long time, long time no video, um, but we've just been having a lot going on. So we're trying to get back into the habit. I definitely want to thank everybody who's been commenting on the videos. I did just today, which is Saturday the 20th, or yeah, the 22nd. Sorry to reply to comments because I haven't been on the channel. But I definitely want to thank you guys for commenting and all the new subscribers. The channel has grown a lot and it's very humbling and we really appreciate you guys' support and watching our videos. So we're going to go ahead and get into the video right now. So um, uh, a viewer asked in the comments for me to do a video on how to introduce your dog into your home when you have other pets. So I have five tips that we're going to cover on some things that may help make the transition go a little bit more smoothly. Before we get into the tips, one thing that you really need to remember is that it is a gradual process and you need to be patient. Every dog is different and every dog is going to react differently to bringing in a new stranger into the home. So just remember that you know you need to set realistic goals and you really are going to have to just roll with the punches when it comes to this because it really just depends on your dog's personality and the new dog's personality and of course these tips how you set it up if that makes sense so first thing we have is to pick up your new puppy by themselves i think it's important so when you get your new dog just so they're not overwhelmed they're already stressed out because you're essentially taking them from their home their mom their uh, what are they called puppy mates their brother and sisters and you're taking them into a whole new environment so it's, it's normal for dogs to be stressed and scared so I think the process goes a lot smoother when you just pick up the dog alone and you don't have any of your other dogs around just to make them a little bit more comfortable and another thing with picking them up alone when you originally get them home I suggest kind of having them there by themselves so they have time to just really run around and see the house and sniff around and they don't have any other dogs kind of harassing them so let them just come into the home by themselves you have like a somebody else come pick up your other dogs and let the dog kind of just get a feel for the home and while they're getting a feel you definitely want to make sure you pick up all the other dogs old toys and food balls and really let that dog get comfortable in their new environment Alrighty, so the second thing that we have is to introduce them in a neutral territory you want neither dog to feel threatened or you want everybody just to be comfortable and relaxed so you want to take them to a neutral territory where their scent is not a strong scent anywhere and let the dogs meet each other naturally let them sniff each other out let them get comfortable now sometimes when they're originally meeting you only want to keep it a few seconds and then get gradually let them you know sniff each other longer and longer it is best when you're doing this to have somebody that your older dogs are familiar with to assist you in letting the dogs meet, pull them away, meet, pull them away, letting them do their thing. So the third thing that we have is to let your dogs form a natural hierarchy on their own. That shouldn't involve us humans. They need to establish their own ground rules, their own regulations. So you need to let the dogs establish who's going to be in charge other than yourself. Obviously, we are the pack leaders, but you need to let them establish a hierarchy under us and you just need to let them do that naturally it helps to lessen stress and it helps actually make them feel a bit more comfortable so they'll know their role four give them time sometimes it can take a dog up to two weeks to get used to um a new member to the pack i know that when we introduced bailey to the pack marley sniffed her around and he was fine with it but zoe wasn't having it it took Zoe a good two weeks before she was comfortable with Bailey and was able to really, you know, we were able to trust them just playing because before that, Zoe would sometimes nip at her or kind of push her around. So we kind of had to really be mindful of playtime. So give them time, give them at least two weeks to fully adjust into this new system because you're essentially throwing somebody in, into their routine and it's just not normal for them. And dogs are all about routine. If you have multiple dogs, you want to introduce your new dog to each dog one by one just so the new dog doesn't feel threatened or overwhelmed. So just give them a time to get adjusted to each new dog. You don't just want to throw them in with three other old dogs that you already have. So just give them a little bit of time to adjust to this new situation and their new environment. 
Okay, so after you do introduce them one by one and then you finally bring all the dogs together, you want to make sure to observe the playtime. Don't just leave them to their own devices because that could be detrimental, especially with your puppy because they're a lot smaller than the other dogs. So you want to make sure you monitor playtime again, I would say for at least the first two weeks before you're comfortable with just letting them play on your own, their own. Because obviously your puppy's going to be a great deal smaller. Like when we got Bailey, she was only one pound versus Mar and that's you know a big difference when Zoe is six pounds and Marley's five pounds so you definitely want to make sure you observe playtime because they might get a little rough and they can hurt her and it may not even be intentional so just definitely keep a good eye out okay okay guys so those are all the tips that we do have when introducing a new dog into the family if you've introduced a new dog into your family leave a comment below and let me know how it went with your other dogs how long it took them to adjust or if you have more tips available on some things that you did when introducing go ahead and leave those below and we definitely thank you for watching those jerkies times three please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel bye guys